What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. So we're going to do a little a No Man's Sky today and jumping back into this game after a couple of years now, I just loaded my old save file and I've been playing for a few days and getting back into it and I noticed that it looks like a lot of the amounts of things that what things used to cost have come way down since the last time that I've played, which I think was a good thing. I think, you know, it was pretty easy to, to make money, you know, in the earlier patches. But I wanted to go over kind of like a tried and true way of making some early in-game money. And I mean, right from the get-go, as soon as you get, you know, your portable refiner, you can start making some pretty good cash off this. And I want to show you two ways to do this early game. So the first way we're going to start out with is we're going to do cobalt and refining. Cobalt is so easy to find. Usually in every system, there is a planet that has cobalt. And you can see that I have cobalt right here in my back in the background right here and there's always tons of it right and usually it has a secondary item that's usually pretty valuable or very useful in the least so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you kind of like mining it what it takes to mine it how much you get when you mine it what it refine what you can refine it into because you can refine cobalt into ionized cobalt and what it actually sells for and what kind of profit you can be looking at so let's dive into this and let's get going so we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna just start mining some of this cobalt right a matter of fact let me jump over here and actually just put some more fuel into my mining beam get that ready to go so we're just gonna start mining and my inventory is pretty full but it's empty of cobalt so I have no cobalt right now except for what I've started to mine so we can get a good idea about that so we're just gonna continue to mine. And like I said, these caves and stuff are everywhere. And and there's there is tons of tons of this stuff. I mean you can find caves with like hundreds of these little stalagmite things. Gotta watch out for the uh poisonous fauna. Nobody likes that. So he, we're just gonna keep on going, keep on mining this cobalt. Now I'll tell you what. We, right now we have, let's see, we have about, let's, let's move our cobalt. Where's our cobalt? So we have 99 cobalt so far out of just that little bit of my name. We're going to put it down here in the bottom left so I know where it's at. So you can see my inventory is pretty full. And this is all from like previous, you know, like from like two years ago. That, so I played quite a bit. I think I have around 300 hours into this. So we're going to just get the cobalt. And I'll tell you what, I will we'll cut this video I'm gonna mine, come in here, and you can see this, guys. All this stuff on the roof, it's cobalt and copper. There's just tons of it. So I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna mine, like, say, a thousand units so that you can see what kind of profit that can be made off this. It's really early in game, and I'm gonna refine it with the portable refiner, not any kind of big refiner, just so I can show you in game. Okay, I've mined about a thousand, a little over a thousand. We'll check that out. Let's see, I put it in the bottom left. So I mined about a thousand eighty-one in about five minutes, maybe even a little less than five minutes. It was pretty quick to uh, mine that much. Like I said, the caves are just full of it. So you can just like literally keep your gun going. So we are going to take this and I put down the little portable refiner and we need some fuel. So we're gonna throw some carbon in there. And what we're gonna do is we are going to go to my backpack and there's the cobalt that we just got and we're gonna put the coal buck in there. There's two to one into the ionized cobalt. So that's what we're gonna, gonna do. It looks like it takes about three minutes. So we're gonna get that going. And just to show you, like, so this right here is worth 80,000, 80,940 units, right? And this is what we're, so this is, this is 76 units each and this is 154 units each so you know you don't actually you could probably just sell the cobalt itself but you can see just mining five minutes five minutes got me 80,000 units just in cobalt so let, let's see what let's see what the difference is going to be here okay guys so we refined that cobalt into ionized cobalt as you can see right here and we got 540 so you don't actually have to split it because it's two to one and they're worth about the same but i split it because now i've changed my thousand stack into 540 and you can carry so much more ionized cobalt in a stack but just like that that's 82 
thousand units, and if you sell it in a system where it's worth a little bit more, you can probably squeeze like you know ninety to hundred hundred thousand out of it if you get a good system. But this is a really good early way to throw some throw some you know cash into your account. Now I'm gonna jump to one more way, which is like the slot the salt chlorine because there's so many planets that have that as well and it's just as easy so let me show you that way as well okay so we are still on the exact same planet because any planet that has water normally has salt I'd say like 99% of the time or at least with my experience in the last few days because I've been refining cobalt and chlorine to build up a little bit you know get my kitty a little larger so we're gonna jump into this water we're gonna find some salt so that I can start showing you like kind of what the salt refines for. Now usually rocks and stuff are what refine into salt, right? Or what you can get the salt out of. So usually what you want to look for is salt, or I'm sorry, rocks. And they usually come in clusters. They're normally pretty easy to find. And here we go right here. So these right here, you can see salt, right? That's so we're going to start mining some of these it's usually in big enough clusters maybe not quite as easy as the cobalt but they they do you do, do get quite a bit from it you can see right here let's see what we get off this one so yeah we're getting like 40 off of each one so i'm going to mine a little bit of that like i said i'm going to get up to about a thousand so i can show you guys kind of compare the the salt chlorine to the you know cobalt iodized cobalt Okay, so we are back on land here. We have our 1,045 of salt, 101 units each. So you can see it's 105,000 units. And I don't think that took me, I, I think maybe that took me like six to seven minutes just because I had to search around just a little bit more than I do for cobalt. But considering it's about 20K more, maybe it's worth the extra couple of minutes. But we're gonna refine that into chlorine here. So we're going to take the salt. Let's see here. Where's my salt? Here's my salt. Goes into chlorine right here. And we'll begin. And we'll just stop it for a second so you can see. So this is 205 units. So really about the same, right? So all you're doing is when you're refining it into chlorine, you're reducing your size of your stacks by half so you can carry a lot more, especially if you're limited on inventory right so we're gonna go ahead and keep this going i'm gonna let this refine and i'll be back as soon as it's done should be just a, just like three minutes here okay so it has been refined i moved it over and we have 522 chlorine and you can see for 522 we've got 107,000 units that is not bad for so it took me maybe six to seven minutes to gather the thousand up and then maybe, and then it took right just over three minutes to refine it for a hundred, hundred units. So if you were to get a big load of this, so if you were to spend like you know twenty minutes doing this, getting like three or four thousand, and especially if you run into a nice patch of this chlorine, you can actually make some big bucks. Now this is for early game guys. I'm talking this is like early game. I'm talking about maybe you just got your portable refiner, you just got your ship all done, and you just started cruising around the verse. And you need to make some early cash, right? That this is all this is for. This is not getting into stuff like scanning and you know collecting nanites to get your scanner module, so that when you scan, you know you're getting a hundred k for something that you scan. And yes, that is possible that you can get these S-class scanner modules. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video on maybe just the scanner, just the scanner modules themselves, so you can see the you know the boost that you can get. There is just so much to this game, and I'm, I wanted to start out by getting some early, you know, new player type videos out to kind of get you going, and then I'm going to start diving into some of the advanced stuff. Um, now that the game has been updated, it looks like not much of it has actually changed. They've just added, it's still, it's still the same kind of function. But yeah, guys, that is really it for this video. I just wanted to get this out to you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped somebody and gave somebody some early in-game cash. Let me know if you want to see something specific. I'm going to start kind of grinding on some uh, No Man's Sky videos. It's been a lot of fun. This update is just fantastic. I mean, look at the water. That is, I mean, that's gorgeous. You know, No Man's Sky isn't made as a, you know, trying to be some sci-fi sim realistic game here. And that water and the movement is just 
fantastic. And you can see right here, guys, I can show you right here with the scanner what I was talking about. 152,000 units off of what? Two seconds to scan this? And that's all due to scanner modules. So if that's something you you're, you want to look for getting into this, you can see my multi-tool, and then you can see that I have uh, this supercharged slot with the analysis visor. And you can see that my scan radius is double and all the uh, stats are way up. So 11,000% on Flora alone. So yeah, guys, thanks for sticking around. Just again, leave some comments. Let me know what other stuff you want to see. I hope these two like small little um, refining, uh, you know, chlorine, salt to chlorine and cobalt to ionized cobalt help. Remember, if you got plenty of room in your inventory, you don't have to worry about refining it. Save the three minutes and don't worry about it. Thanks, guys, and as always, I will see you next time.